just a bloke in a bar. You didn't go as hard as you did last year, though, did you? Fuck no. Not even close. No. Nah. Not even close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you getting nah. old, eh? Getting old, boys. Getting old, bro. Well, yeah, getting old. We did not go hard, though. Like, we had, we had a pretty fucking large Friday night. But I'll it wasn't honest. as big as last year. Which is a reasonable point. Yeah. No, you're right. It was Like, that was the start. Last year was like 7 a.m. And the, then a full gut day. Of I life. basically had the same amount of sleep this year as last year on the Friday night. Yeah, but that's your fault. No, it is my fault. But well, what did you do? Were you by yourself? Well, after? no, we were together. He just fell asleep and I didn't. <laughs> so what did you do? Just I fucking like shit. I tossed and turned. I tossed and then I turned. Oh, okay. and then I tossed Existential I crisis. See, that doesn't count Listen as a big night. Listen to podcasts and fucking... No but, no, but I'm talking about like... That's the depths. If you're up at 3 a.m. and listen to podcasts, that's depth three, stuff. Three, try five or six, buddy. Oh, yuck. Oh, yeah. Sunrise. It's hot morning sun on my back. What? And, and the blackout, the blackouts weren't shut. So I didn't shut the blackout blind. He just laid. There because last year the blackout blinds fucked us so How i was like i can't that? we had a show the air on. no but it was just that like i needed to be able to wake up because we had live shows to do so you i was like, alarm yeah but i just i just was Jeez. like for a, for a seasoned veteran you made some pretty rookie errors well listen the rookie you gotta trust it a lot you can trust the alarm. rookie trust error alarm. was just going a little bit too hard on the friday and but i'm a professional because i got up and I fucking had a nice, good, honest Australian shower and I got to work and I did the job. You, did, you got the job done. Got the job done. You turned up. Came back, went to bed, woke up again, then went back out. And you ripped and teared and you, deli- you delivered. That's amazing. I thing. delivered. Yeah. As long as you deliver, you do whatever you want. That's what mm. mum's always said. <laughs> mum said that to you. Mum said that. As long as you d- deliver, as as you, you can deliver, literally do whatever you, you want. You do whatever you want. Just so if you're a postie. As long as you deliver. The time doesn't matter. As long as you delivered all your letters. Yep. You could do whatever you do want. Do whatever you want. Go pop monos on the main street if you wanted to. If you're a postie. What if you get arrested? Fuck it. You've delivered your letters, mate. Wow. That's, that's what my mum would say. Okay. What did your dad say? Careful, mate. <laughs> yeah, he was a, he's a serious, serious sack. Yeah, I thought he would, he would be more of a silly sausage. Uh, this, he's not as silly a sausage as you think. The comedian oft not the silliest sausage. Uh, serious sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Comedian serious sausage. Well, actually, it's probably a lie. <laughs> it might be a lie. You didn't say it with much oomph. I didn't believe it. Yeah. If I don't believe it, who's going to believe it? No one's going to believe it at home on their couches. <laughs> I'm telling lies. I don't even know what we're talking about. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Monday, 6 p.m. Bloke dropping hoodies. We're dropping our shirts. We've got maroon and we've got blue. Uh, it is Monday, 6 p.m. We've got our shirts. We've got shorts are back. We've got it underneath here. We've also got one of you boys dropping these jackets. Tonight. 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 6 p.m. Hellsport.shop. Are you getting into your political your political jumpers as well, mate? No, no political jumpers oh, here. No. Tonight, okay. 6 p.m. Yeah. State of politics Boom. jumpers. State of politics. There you go. You got Maroon. And, 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 and Queensland and New South Wales politics. If we you were going to do politics. Victoria, but we didn't, we didn't want to this year. Nah. Be yeah. engaged with your local politics, guys. Yeah. Be engaged. And uh, here's the, the blue shirt, the bloke shirt, Monday, 6 p.m. And then we've got... The blue shorts and then the maroon shorts nice. as well. They're, They're nice. nice. Do we get comfy. any of those? Did you get yeah, yeah, we'll get you some. They're we'll get very you some, nice. Mate. Of course, mate. They're of very nice. We will. So tonight, 6 p.m., be there or be square. Support state politics. And then Monday, 6 p.m., we've got the hoodies and the shorts and the shirts. All done and deuced. Also, good day. Mm, good day. How's that going? That's back on sale. We sold out uh, because it was so fucking well received. Uh, but it's back on next Wednesday. So a lot of you done some pre-sales. We've, we've, we've been selling still. The pre-sales will get sent straight out. Denon just throwing our fucking jackets around there off camera. Um, and obviously you can subscribe as well. So you, it just drops into your, fu- your, into your house That's every it. month. That's can, you, it. can you get a subscription that drops into your mouth? Well, you'd have to pay a little bit extra for that, I'd yeah. say. We don't yeah. offer that. Oh, that's a bespoke service, Denon, <laughs> okay. uh, that we don't offer yet. Code Dribblers, 20% off. And if you don't believe us, 246 five-star reviews. Go read them. Go They're read them. fucking good. BeGoodHealth.com.au Just get better. Yep. Just get better. Uh, boys, How are you, big fella? Yeah, I'm good. Mm. Just living the dream. Yep. Living, breathing. All the good stuff. Yep. Sun's out. Guns are now. Hey, the beautiful... It's actually a beautiful... It's they a beautiful call it a bluebird day or a bluebell day. Bluebird day if you're on the mountains. If you're right. skiing. Blue, bluebell, maybe? Bluebell day. Bluebird. bluebird. One I of those fucked days, this up though. before and someone's corrected me. So I apologize. People who like identify as skiers and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like identify as skiers. Well, you know, like, I don't know if like, growing up there were certain 
kids in school who just would always go on skiing trips and you're like all right dude relax yeah, you rich, know how to you, you know how to do moguls all right yeah. i don't know how to fucking do it blue, uh, bluebird correct bluebird maddie bluebird. is fucking half dead over there i know <laughs> trust me and what's weird is his voice was sweet on monday and it's getting progressively worse oh he's getting crook that kid yeah you on, do, you, do you on the good days, Matty? Yeah, I feel like 100%. My voice oh is just fucked. God. Yeah, okay. Oh, just keep wow. lying over there, mate. Yeah. Just, just keep telling oh, fibs. You're lying to yeah. yourself, mate. Yeah. You're just lying to yourself. You're only lying to yourself. <laughs> Didn't answer the question about the good day, either, which is concerning. Well, we well he's telling. He, no wonder he, he sounds like he's shit. He's not on him. Oh, I've taken the good day. And, you, and look Every how good day. you are. You're beaming, mate. Absolute yeah. beaming. You're absolutely beaming. Glowing. Um, now, boys, yes. Origin just around the corner. What's the vibe? What's the feeling like as New South Welsh when you're looking to win? You've lost back to back. How are you feeling? A different approach this year. Yeah. Okay. Different approach this year. Not many weapons in the duffel. No. Okay. The duffel's empty this yeah. year. Which so, is good, though. It sort yeah. of works in your favour. Sometimes when you've got too many to pick from, you can make the wrong decision because you're just overwhelmed by choice. Okay. That's what's that, I think that's what's done us in historically mm. is that we have – too many superstars to pick so from. When the robber comes in, you're like, oh, shotgun, machine gun. Exactly. What do I do? Exactly. What do I do? Exactly. You're too busy trying to pick your yeah. weapon, load the ammo in, and then old mates just nicked all your shit. So, <laughs> Like an origin trophy. Like an origin trophy. Yep. That's what's been happening lately. Last time I checked the duffel, Denon, it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty bare bones in there, mate. Yep. It's very bare bones. <laughs> but I like that. I like. I think that New South Wales back to the wall playing bare bones rugby league yeah, is okay. just what the doctor ordered. Okay, just okay. what the doctor ordered. So, as we we discussed a couple of weeks ago, year of the underdog, you reckon? Yeah, I mean, sure. I, I, don't, I guarantee you by game day we're fucking unbackable favourites. Well, we are underdogs. Like when we actually when you actually think about it, we Why? are underdogs. Why? Lost Munster, lost Tino, lost Gilbert, lost Flegler. I mean, we, we are The problem struggling. is, though, you now have too many weapons in the duffel bag because you have so many options. So Munster goes, Ezra Mam, Tommy Dearden. But that's, okay. the, you know, that's, two, two you know what? the difference between talent. us and New South Wales is we actually, we don't, we're not confused on who we select. It's Dearden every day of the week. Like, people that are saying Mam is like, they're crazy people. Like, crazy people. Well, Dearden, Dearden goes straight in. Dearden's well, done it. He's done it. Yeah, he's no, been listen, one of the best sure. sixes all but year. Let's, then Dearden goes down. What happens? Well, then Mam goes straight Right, in. so you've just got too many weapons in the duffel. No, no, but I think the concern for you guys was was the indecisive nature at which you were looking at the weapons. That's just the We are decisive. Though. Then also, like, obviously, Kalen injured right now, but if Reese goes down, you got Kalen. If Kalen goes down, you got AJ. Hammer as well. Hammer. Yeah. Fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, there's weapons in duffel bags. Yeah, but there is... There does seem to be a bit of a hierarchy of needs a little bit. Whereas they know we, who's who in the we're service. decisive. Whereas we can get a bit confused. <laughs> I just don't like to admit that. Eddie. That's all I'm saying. Like this but is, no, but this it's, is, this no, is but a, a new appro- but it's a new approach. Remember, no, well, the, the this approach, is a new approach. Well, the approach is lack of options means we just go with what we've got. But I still will be blindly supporting everything we do for this period of the year. Then, depending on how it goes, I will then change my tune and uh, call for heads to roll if it doesn't go our way. The argument of decisiveness is what broke up the brotherly love of the Johns because that's what Matty said to him. He said, Queensland look like they just know who they're going to pick and what they're going to do in New South Wales. That's what broke up the famous New South Wales But Joey's a competitor, right? And you can't turn that off. You can't be the greatest player of all time. You can't achieve that that, uh, title without having to sacrifice things here and there and you can't turn that dog tap off. Yeah, it's fair. That's you just fair. can't. And so when he hears his own blood, <laughs> his own kin saying that Queensland get it and New South Wales don't, that hurts a man like Joey deep within well, his they soul. Well, still, still hasn't been resolved. It hasn't been and we're a year on, mm. literally, yeah. and unresolved as of right now. Do you reckon you, you may not win a, a series until they do resolve it? I hope that this isn't some sort of a John's family you imagine curse. imagine like a John's curse? Well, you family and I curse. would have to fucking... Because broker since, a deal because since it happened you haven't won one correct well, that's, yeah, that, that, it's only been one that's though. only been one so that's but you're right fair. yeah yeah because we also lost the one before that when they were getting on so i don't know if it's a curse yet or whether it's well that's not. a great point that curse over curse curse, curse, curse unrelated but maybe because it would if it was affecting it, our perf- now but if we were affecting our performances then it wouldn't need it would need to marry up with both losses okay. which it doesn't no. okay but maybe he thought it or maybe they discussed it disliked each other for that point but not actually broken up you just, you're, you're, you're uh, long, the, the bow's getting longer and longer yeah, here mate you gotta, and, you're and a, now we've reached uh, an, uh, fantasy land in fantasy land we're now in Fantasia okay. okay to what you're speaking on though Denon in terms of decisive decision making decisiveness yeah. the fact that 
there's still like Nico Hines likely to play. He, you know, he's, he, if he had good performance on the weekend, like That's it's crazy like talk. Nico is the seven. Who else? Who is the seven? fuck else is there? <laughs> Why are we fucking talking about it? The time, the time is from is for decisive decisiveness. Yes, that's what the time is. <laughs> it is. It that's really what is. that's what time it is. Like, yep, double D. Okay, double D. I like Nico that. Nico Hines is the seven. Yep. Everyone, shut the fuck <laughs> up. But okay. then the six. They're still farting around about that. It's, well, it's got to be Luai, doesn't no, it? No, dude, I think it's Cody Walker. <laughs> and I think it's Burton. See, there you go. There, there's a problem. I like Bert, <laughs> I like my I like my I like my Matty Burton as a center. Okay. And I'd almost pick him there because we are down on trips. He could play six. I'd though. pick Trell. Has he made himself available? I, I'm not sure. No, but he can't actually you legally. Well, he did two years ago. Legally? Legally, well, he literally last two years ago, he literally said, "No, nah, I'm going to give it to Burton and Critter." I'm, I'm. But I think he was actually it. injured still. No, no, he'd come back because when he came exploded. out, and they were like, they were like, oh, he was like, "Oh, maybe I'm not going to make myself available." They were like, well, "No, can't. he literally was quoted after a game saying, "I thought in your contract, I'm contractually, going to concentrate on you have to time. make yourself available for rep." I think you can say no. I, I, I don't Otherwise, you retire I don't think from the, it. I, don't I think, think it's a grey area. I don't perhaps. think the coach is going to pick you if you're like, I'm yeah. not ready mentally. Yeah, yeah. He'd, sure, literally, co- he'd literally just come back from America. The, the hammy. Yeah. Last and he time. played like one or two games. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to, I'm stepping aside to focus on Rabbitohs, which is similar-ish to the situation you're currently in. I'd pick him. You couldn't pick Cody Walker. You I'm playing pretty well. I think you could. He's been, the last couple of weeks he's been playing okay. He was good last year. One... Had one win, uh, what, nine losses? Eight no, losses? but the team sucks, Edward. The team sucks. He's the half, though. He's the half. Time. Yeah, but he's been playing good the last couple of weeks. He's got more try assists than Luai and Burton combined. There you go. There you go, Ed. There you go. Gobble that one. Gobble it up. Mate, I'm not here picking the side. I'm, I'm here going, like, we're in a little bit of a... He, Hines and Walker have played together too in the Indigenous all stars. He's also, oh. like, he's a better ball player than Luai. And it's like you mm. need some like game breaking spark. Luai's all right. Luai hasn't brained it at Origin. He's been okay. First he's had he okay games. First one he did. He's, a, he's been he's had, had okay record games. Win. he's had okay games. He's had okay games. He's had okay games. His debut series, he's had your record win. You could argue though that he's been just as effective as Cleary. Yeah, sure, but Cleary is fucking the man who uh, won the grand final last year when the Broncos. I'm, were. All I'm all I'm saying is. <laughs> Cody Walker is considered like the greatest ball player of his generation by some. And if not the greatest, maybe like a rung below. Lou, why not? Do you think it's case in point, the much, the, how much we're talking about yeah, this? Yeah, no, it Denon, you make a great point. The point. Yeah, it does. Oh, I know that. That's why I didn't <laughs> argue it at the start. It's a good point. It's a good point. We don't know made. who our centers are. We don't know who our fucking Imagine six is. Angus we don't know Crichton, who our fucking fullback is. Angus Crichton. Eddie. We don't know who our fucking back rowers Angus are. We don't Crichton know who our on the front left. rowers are. We don't know what our Angus bench is. Angus has played with Cody. You get Angus on the left with Cody. The old South duo reforming. Lewis played with Critter and Ty. Ah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> And Liam Martin. And Isaiah Yo. And Yo. Do you pick them all? And Edwards. Well, Yo will be third. Is Edwards getting in the back? Oh, see, I've got a theory. I, I want Yo front row. Front row, well, yeah. but you're getting, you're row, getting yeah. real funky now. No, front I'm not. Yo. He played front row when you won last year. No one fucking Well, who's going to be 13? Cam Murray's Cam not Cam McInnes. Mm-hmm. Oh, Boots. I don't, Boots. Boots is in. Boots is in. Boots is in. And 13. then, guess what you get to do on the bench? You can have two hookers. You can have Appy and uh, Robson. But does that, like, are we not, uh, how much impact does this Yo This sounds have? too clever. This sounds like Queensland yeah. stuff, though. <laughs> how much, how much you know impact I mean? is front Yo going to have in the front row? Well, he's got, this, for front rowers in the competition, he's six for post-contact. He's got, the guy that you'd probably have instead of him is Jake Trevojevic. Uh, he's got double his metres per game. He you has wanna... 80 metres per game compared to 160 that Yo has. Yo's statistics in attack, bending the line, are as good as most front rowers. Is he playing front row for Penrith? Yo. No, no, he's playing 13, but so yeah, is Jake right. Trevojevic. Yeah, yeah, sorry. And Jake Trevojevic is probably the guy that you would give that jersey to at the moment. He plays 13 for club, mm. front row for state, mm. because his defence is good. What's but his Yo, engine like, though? Because you yeah. know Jake can bust out them big minutes. Well, so can Yo. He played, like, 13 is in the middle. can get down low and go, go, go? Like his James? name's Yo. It rhymes with it. It does rhyme. Can Yo go? Shout That's out what I mean. Shout out Yo go. Not an ad. 
Not an ad. You're I, making, I just wanted to say that because I love yoga. You're making too much yeah, sense. Yeah, you're making some good points this morning. It, you're making no, too much sense. You sound like a bush poet or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're just coming, coming down here to like a lullaby. You're hypnotizing us. So, okay, well then, just because you are making sense today, and I'll allow that, and you've obviously had a good day. <laughs> Mental clarity. He, and Tom over here making some points around Cody Walker, arguably the greatest ball player of all time, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> he's, he's got better st- assist stats than Burton. And Lou, I combine. In a shit team. In a shit side. You said Burton, though. Mm. So why don't you you scissor them off against each okay. other? Okay, what I like about Burton is that if any of your outside backs go down, he can cover pretty much anywhere there. Maybe um, maybe nine at a pinch if you had to, but you've got Cam McInnes to cover that. Boots. I think that you look at... Um, yeah, Boots. Boots I think McInnes. you look at his, his big boot is a huge weapon, something that Hines, although he's a good kicker, He's not necessarily known for his long kicking game. I think DCE's long kicking game has dominated you guys for so long now. And I think that if you get Burton there, we know he's got a huge boot. He's got the weapon of the massive bomb. Snow stuff. And he won, I think he won man of the match in his, maybe his debut. Yeah, he, he played did. really well. He did. Um, and so you've got a six that can cover essentially everywhere. And then I wanted Connor Watson at 14 because then you are covered everywhere if anything happens, but unfortunately he's injured. But yeah, the reason, and Burton, the physicality, he's got a better tackle efficiency than Luai or Cody Walker at this stage. Mm. But obviously, if we get, if you guys get after game one and you have all this good ball and you can't score points, you're going to be like, fuck, you should have Cody Walker there because he definitely can score points. But um, I will say that Matt Burton, I think he leads the comp for line breaks involvements. So he's actually much better than people give him credit for in regards to What's the difference options. between a line break involvement and a line break assist? Well, when a line break happens he's not necessarily the guy that throws the last pass but he is in in the passing chain to get it to there like kind a, like a try like involvement. Tedesco does all the time to a degree kind of like a try involvement so like for example the guy that squares the defenders up he might give it to the fullback and then the fullback has an easy pass the fullback gets a try assist but it was actually the guy that squared the defense up that has created that space okay that makes sense that does mm. Um, now, Burton also you, currently playing with Critter. Crit you wouldn't want to be mad, I don't think. Oh, it's fucking hell. He wouldn't be sleeping much. No the way. Fella. The, um, the captain of the state currently, James Tedesco. Mm. Slips. Slips. 4.5 slips a game. Uh, he, Is that a genuine stat? Well, on the weekend it was four. Okay. We are saying there's a baggy green on the line for him. He goes back through every <laughs> single game of his career and counts his slips. And gives the slips because apparently ever since he did his ACL when he was young, first, he was first, first game, game, he's worn really short. Really oh, short okay, starts because he won't. He's he's prepared to slip over. Doesn't want to twist his knee, but he doesn't want to really. fucking get the ACL. So, again, like people say that well, Tom and I don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> but we've just eyeballed this thing and gone. That slips Tedesco over yeah. there. Then you do a little bit of digging. He's actually admitted to his slipping. He's doing. He's going at four and a half a game, which yeah. is outrageous. Slippy. Most slips all the time. We 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 were like maybe we thought three and a half. We slips said three point four slips a game, and that was actually unders. Um, anyway, he was seen in uh, promotional photos shared into the Men's Women's Weekly Daily Telegraph in the column of the great and powerful bastion of rugby league journalism that is Dean Ritchie, Bulldog's bite. <laughs> yeah. um, so that seemed to sort of shut the door on the fullback position. Not really, because last year you had Josh had a car. Correct, yeah. but he was Josh, not the captain. This is I'm, I'm painting the picture here. Everyone's like, oh, well, he's in the fucking thing. Then he's, he's there. He's going to captain, whatever. You're right. The Josh Adokar car thing. But then people are saying, well, fuck, Josh Adokar's car's not captain. Then... Well, when I'm driving into work today, it says real rivalries. It had Liam Martin and DCE. So I didn't have Teddy on that. Good job. Which is interesting. And and they were saying on an 360 last night that there's that Dylan Edwards. That's what Hoops is here in Dylan Edwards. I, I think Dylan Edwards... I'm quite surprised that... It's not necessarily whether Teddy plays good or not, but I just think that... Dylan Edwards is leading the Dally M's. Teddy's been incredible, but he's lost two series in a row. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Yo is the co-captain of the Panthers. He's led them to three grand finals in a row, wins. So I don't see why that should come into thinking, to be honest. I, yeah. Teddy's a gun. But Listen, I dude. Just, he would, is he, this, would, is the, this is the day Clear Denon makes playing, sense. If Cleary was playing, would, he, would Dylan Edwards definitely be picked, do you think? I think so, for sure. Yeah. And Cleary would be captain. Him and... Yeah, he would be captain. Did we? Did, was there not some like uh, criticism? And that's this isn't to necessarily speak against Dylan Edwards' involvement, but just like over the last couple of years, they're like, oh, there's too many Penrith players. Yeah, there, there has been like that chat, but I think that's just an easy out. Mm. Like that's a very easy thing to go. Oh yeah, it's Penrith's fault. It's like, mate, they're winning three comps in a row. Like for example, what was 
it was a storm, very storm-ish Queensland side for for a long time. Fair. Fucking use what works. It was, it works. was stormy as fuck. Oh, it was at Stormy one point. Daniels, yeah. dude. Yeah, Stormy Daniels. It was Stormy Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Like 2008, it was fucking 2007. Mm. It was the stormiest side of all time. Yeah, very, very stormy. Um, and so, yeah, the two Penrith, and also like two Penrith, it's, you don't even have the Penrith coach in there. So, and you've got Teddy who has the bulk of the ball. So it's not two Penrith because he's the one calling mm. most of the shots. I think Dill would do a job for his state. Absolutely. And if you're thinking about getting job doers out there, you're talking about Matt Burden, country boy, Doe boy, he'll do a job for the state. Madge, though, seems to be like he's pro job doer at this, at this well, point. That's what I'm saying. But if you're pro job doer, then Boots, Boots McInnes, you can see him doing a job at 13. You can yep. see Yo at, full, uh, at the front row. This is all making a lot of sense to me. A lot of, lot, of, lot of sense. Nico Hines, Burton, a lot of sense. Dylan Edwards, job doer Tom. Yep. Makes but see, sense. Jake Trebojevic, also a doer of jobs. So are you saying Jake just not enough not enough well, work? I think that... Or his yes. father time himself. Yeah, like he's, he's older. Because we've made this mistake before, Dan, if you recall. To a degree, like, yes, okay, so last series you didn't bring him in. But you also lost the series before and he was brought in for game two and three and you lost that series. So it's like, I get it. I, I also was like, last series you should have brought him in. But I feel like you've got that version in Isaiah Yo, And he is a little bit older. And also, like... Even though he's incredible in attack and he's a very inspirational leader, he doesn't offer much in attack at this stage of his career. Um, and so, look, maybe you want to get a spot from him on the bench. I personally think you come with more explosiveness. It just hurts. Um, it, just, it does. It hurts. It's just upset. I love Jake Trevojevic, but he's, like a yeah. he's a bit older. Like he's a bit older. Would it's you argue insane. that, like, what what uh, you would lose in Jake? you kind of get a bit of, in fact, you get a lot of in Boots McInnes in terms of just like... <laughs> I think you get it in Isaiah Yo. Yeah, but like tackling the house down. Oh, yeah. You get it. And also you get faster leg speed. Because, okay, look at the... Look Boots at the, would make 80 tackles. Oh, he, no, he would, dude. With his ears fall, falling If he doesn't make 80, it. he'll make whatever he makes, 60 in the night, and then you'll see him after the game making that extra 20 to make the 80. To make the 80. Oh, just the on the extra, field, yeah. yeah. He'll yeah, be tackling fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the front. But you look at the front row combination... Um, for Queensland, it'll most likely be Collins, in my opinion, Cotter and Carrigan. Cotter and McInnes, relatively same size. So Cotter is 95 kilos. Uh, McInnes is about 92 kilos, 177 metres. Um, Cotter is 180 centimetres. Then you've got Collins uh, and Haas, big boppers, one percenters, huge motors. And then you've got Carrigan and Yo, who are relatively similar players. And so if it's work for Queensland, why, why would not it work for... Whereas if you go, let's say you went Haas, Jake Trevojevic, Yo. That is as that's not as explosive as the front row for Queensland, in my opinion. That I would pick anyway. Mm. Mm. Now centres, mm. it's basically Crit is there. Crit is there. It's, it's basically it's like Latrell. Is Latrell getting picked or not? Well, but it, no, because if you went Cody, then you could be a, a Burton bomb in the centres. But, but, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Latrell Mitchell historically has always been picked. But in the until he wasn't well, by Freddie that time. But like in the centres, I'm like, you, you don't have to do, you don't have to have, with respect, don't come at me at chin chins. But like, you know, lazy <laughs> Latrell at fullback, where it's like, there's the criticism of him. Just get him in the centres. All you got to do is tuck the ball under your gorgeous arms and run. That's run, what I, I'm run. saying. That's what I'm saying. He's been he's been an X factor, Tom. Mm to use a uh, sort of a variety show name. Yep. He has been X Factor for us in the past. Well, I don't I, think he's lost a series, if memory serves. Not that that matters. Well, not that it's that well, relevant it, no, necessarily. But it, no, well, it's, but it's, it's not nothing. But it's, uh, but it's not nothing. It's certainly not nothing. Well, there's, if there's one guy... He's a fucking thoroughbred, mate, and he's a beast, and he can rip a game open, but obviously the timing not great. I think personally, if when the yarn came out that he may be pulling out, <laughs> If he was a hunt, like keen, he would have said, no, I'm 100% keen playing for New South Wales. Like, I think the fact that he's still umming and ahhing probably means that he's not going to make himself available. He just won't do it publicly. But do you reckon that maybe part of that is he just doesn't want that heat? Because if we look, lose, everyone will blame him. Oh, 100% everyone will blame him. I, look, I think that he's got, just got a lot going on right now. Like mm. he, He's the most talked about player in the NRL. He's in every single headlines. And you can tell like he's just trying to do his best for his team at the moment. His team, play, his team pays his um, bills and... He's got to, like, he knows that he's the only one that's got to get him out of this trouble. Even when Wayne Bax comes back to the club, he's the only one. And so maybe he genuinely just is like, I need to concentrate on this because this is a lot. It's a, like, even when he wasn't playing, so he was out, he was still getting blamed for Drabido's losses. Like, mm -hmm. there would be a loss, and all in the comments section would be like, 
oh, the Chell's the reason why the club's this way. It's like, what? It's like, he's not even playing at the moment. So I can understand if he's like, oh, I just want to concentrate on. He's had a rough go with uh, run with injury, suspensions. I think he just needs to get on the footy field for Rabbitohs and just um, focus on that. And I would understand what if he did that. Well, there you go. So if you had Crichton at one centre and then Burton, if Cody Walker was Some six, people, I heard Ramian getting thrown around. I'd, I'd go Ramian. Then who would you have otherwise? So let's say, let's say Burton six, you'd have Ramian. Yeah. So Ramian right now, statistically, metre-wise, him and Ito are some of the best meter eaters in the competition for centers. You know who talked about Ramian? Our mate, little Tobby Tobler. He went and crunched his own numbers. Oh, yeah. He went and he's, he, a, he's the most underrated center in the game. Based on what Madge said, because Madge made some statements around uh, effort, I yeah. think. And so Tobler came up with his own cute little algorithm where he just like measured players' uh, effort levels, I suppose. Based from, on a few metrics. But based on a couple were. of metrics. And Jesse Raymond, he... He's always he made the, the house down. And he's been like that for at least two years, two or even three years. He's heading into his third year of it. He, he always plays at least a seven and a half out of a ten. We saw on the weekend he's still got that incredible full work, big strength, big fend. He loves the contact, super physical. I'd be picking Rami and Burton at six. Cody Walker would be my 18th man. Like I, I'd put, Obviously, I'd pick the squad, and there would be some things that I'd be looking at in training. And like, let's say Cody Walker and Hines just look sleek as anything, then maybe I put Walker and Hines together. Would your back row be Martin, Crichton, Crichton. Boots? Yep. And then off the bench, it would be my bench. Initially, it was going to be Watson, Young, Olakowatu, Barnett, or Polo, maybe even May. Um, but because obviously Watson's out, probably Appy. Or if you're going to play Cody Walker, I move Burton to 14. I put Cody Walker there and Ramian in the centres because then Burton can cover essentially the whole back Who's line. Your Who nine? do you start? Robson. Robson in my Robson. Yeah, Robson. He, he can play 80. I don't necessarily like that he has to play 80, but Cam McGuinness can come in for 10 minutes if he needs to mm. and shift a bit of nut. Boots, you mm. reckon? Boots McGee. Robson, Robson looked pretty good, though, in the jersey last year. No, he did. He's got, he's he got, some, a, he's he's got, got some arms. Chest. Can play lock as well. He's got a massive oh, chest. But his arms are just something. So, relative, like, so, so Cotter is, a, is two kilos heavier, but out, everything else are essentially the same. And then, so, wingers, would you pick Lomax? He's getting thrown I'll be around. going Suali'i Toto. Yeah, Toto, obviously. He yeah. goes without saying. But Again, put, this is cute little Tobler's algorithm. Apparently, Lomax spits out some fucking Oh, fucking oath he does. The only thing with Lomax is, like, uh, it's just been this year, and then in this year, that big game against the Roosters, he just had a bit of a poor game. It was a bad one. But if if you were to go Lomax, like I'm Lomax for sure. Like he's mm. uh, he's had an incredible year, an incredible season, and he and he offers like uh, genuinely a unique kind of. Obviously, Suali is great on the high ball, but I would say Lomax has probably scored more tries from the high ball this year. So Definitely that's has. Question though, would Lomax? potentially turn down the jersey because he doesn't want to play wing. Well, if you if you take his comments at face value, which mm. is what I intend he'd to say, do. He'd Madge, say, thank you, Madge, I'm not a winger. No. Nah. He'd say, if I'm not in the centres, I'm not fucking I'm not playing. playing. Yeah. It's just if you take about. his comments at, if face, you take value. at face value. something to think about. Well, I mean, well, was, what else did he do? ever say he wouldn't play? Like, yeah, his comments actually said, I'll play anywhere for the team, I just like centre more. That's what his actual quotes have been. Well, I think they've been manipulated. <laughs> I, you know, I prefer the manipulated comments for this point. Yeah. For this okay, bit fair enough. That fair we're doing. That's yeah. fair enough. That's fair enough. For this bit, apologies. We're doing. Apologies. Uh, uh, Joseph, though, getting that, getting the nod. I wouldn't would mind be, that. Buzz Rothfield might have a heart attack. Well, there's people out there that don't think he should be picked for rep honors because so he's, he's dogged the game. It's the state. Who gives a fuck whether what he plays? The state's trying to win. Well, he's dogged yeah. the game, though. No, but he's dogged the game rugby league. Yeah, but the state's trying to It's about Queensland versus New South Wales. If a fucking soccer player can come in and win you the, the, the shield, you do that. Who would you pick from the A-League, you reckon? Fucking Denon. Ryan Grant. And Myself. Denon, Denon yeah. Yep. Well, you never played the A-League, did you? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You I was in the squad. a feeder club, though. Yeah. Well, oh, not a feeder sure. club, an actual club, but yeah. in reserve grade. That's what I meant. But sorry. it was a year before it came in, so maybe, so maybe, maybe I would have got dropped. Ryan Grant to do a job. Ryan Grant. Del Piero. Yeah. Yeah. Del Piero. Well, Pesky. Usain. Get Usain. Get Usain in. Right. I'll tell you what, him on the wing. Yeah. Oh, he'd be quick. He'd be quick. Just kick the fucking ball. He'd be quick six. He'd be fucking quick. What about Fox on the wing because of his speed? He's that unique asset. I I would go with the wingers we've mentioned, for sure. So Ali and Toto or Lomax and Toto? Probably. Probably Suli. Because if you go if you go Suli or Lomax, either one, and Toto and Edwards, or even Teddy, but Edwards, that meterage out of your end is in hectic. Mm-hmm. Like actually hectic. Toto is just like so, so fucking good. So in locked in. It's unbelievable. The but then in saying that, they're insane. up against 
Coates, Cobbo maybe, and Walsh, which is is very hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. We're not. Yeah. Cobbo's the hottest of those. We're though. not trying Wingers, to though. be hot as much as we're. trying Well, that's to why we're like, now, but we are because we're picking so early. So we. No, no. Well, he hot. is hot, right? But Lomax is, is pretty hot too. Yeah, but we're not trying to be hot. Not whereas as hot. they are. Yeah, like, I said pretty hot. I didn't say he was that hot. Queensland trying to be hot, whereas we're like. Bare bones, empty duffel bag, roll up the sleeves, boots, McInnes, missing teeth. Like where we don't give a fuck how we look. We just want to play Origin football. If it so happens that some 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 of those players are also hot, then that's just a plus. And we've got to remember we're getting up into that mountain air. Yeah, it's going to be cold up there. Yeah, okay. And the air's thin. Yeah. Oh yeah, the training up there. You imagine two training. Altitude training. Fuck training. yeah! Imagine throwing a railway sleeper over the shoulder in minus two. Walking up thin the air. Do you he's going to make him live like there in the eighteen hundreds or something? Fucking yeah. oath, I do. Fully like dressed like it and everything. Mm, Cold yeah. on the face. Yeah, hundred percent. You could see that on boots, couldn't you? Oh, fuck yeah. oh, well, mate. boots is always got coal on his face. <laughs> I thought covered in coal. Yeah. Cole McKinnis. You guys support Kembla. Coal terminal before he plays each day. Fucking oath, he does. Oh, they'll be going down old shafts. <laughs> yeah. Shoring them up. Making sure they're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Good, honest, hard working town, Lithgow, just over the road. I'll be going down there to the club every night, have a schnitzel. Do you reckon Madge will tie some bush poetry this year? Like, Billy? I don't know about bush poetry. He probably might even do some, like, tent boxing, just, like, tough shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I but- reckon go down to fucking the workers in Lithgow and just get blokes down there to try and flog them. Yeah. Like that Bulldogs training session, but you're just punching on with everyone down at the local. You punch so. on with Ricky Stewart. Bring Ricky Stewart. Bring Ricky down there. Yeah, okay. Put the gloves on, boys. Get in there. Okay. Have a crack. Yeah. yeah it's don't it's mind tough it. stuff this year. Okay, it's, it's a tough, tough stuff. You don't mind it. Yeah, look, I don't mind it. Look. As if that doesn't toughen you up. Hey, I'm, I'm saying Where I you don't mind it. fighting fucking miners out in the <laughs> workers' club. Out the back in the car park. Yeah. Lay a couple of mats down. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Car park yeah. lights. Okay. Hopefully no, I like drizzling, it. cold as fuck. Oh, Could it's be cold. snowing it. Well, my brother was up there recently, mate, and it was like minus one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sleek. Mm. Did you imagine like he goes Back so in. far down the tough route, he literally just makes them become minors for the, the lead up? Yeah, but Madge loves tough stuff. I wouldn't stuff. mind that. He's, no training. He, they just have to work. Go and work in the mines for a couple of weeks. <laughs> go and see how people of this state live, some of them. That's a bit, bit bush party though. You've got, to, you've got to admit that's a bit bush poetry. What, yeah, digging coal for the week? That's not bush poetry. It's that's, actions that's speak the louder than words, words, mate. Poetry comes from the pain of the bush. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. You make them do the tough stuff rather than just this bullshit fucking okay. banjo. All Billy does rhetoric. is sit on his fucking 10,000 <laughs> acre farm that costs him 700 million. And brush horses. And, and brush it. Well, he gets his help to do it, but he <laughs> pretends to do it. And well, then he, he for the photo there. opportunity, he's there brushing a horse, but then as soon as the cameras are off, And then he sits else. there and he, he has a drink and he's... His he's aide writes down his thoughts, his monologue. He'll post, so not even him. Nah, he'll no. post something to Instagram and it's like, oh, how good at Queensland bananas, you know? And you're just like, fuck off. Mate. They were that good. Why do you live in Victoria? Yeah. How funny would it be if he started posting like inspirational memes on Instagram and that? That would be the best. And he's yeah. just trolling everyone? Definitely. That would be good. Trolling? Definitely. Yeah. Nah, he's a very serious guy. Okay, okay. Trolling. Not a big okay. sense of humor guy. Okay. Sincere poet. All right. Don't forget, guys, those jackets, 6 p.m. tonight. Bloke hoodie, shirts, and shorts, 6 p.m. Monday. Uh, also, beer, we are available in all Mr. Liquor and Liquor Stack stores. If you're in a store and you don't see Bloke in the shelves, you can just start, ask them. They'll be able to order it in. The Panthers have signed Isaiah Papali'i. News came out yesterday. Tigers agreed to let Papali'i negotiate. Now, I've seen a lot of comments saying, yeah, it's Papali'i that has pushed to get a release because when he came to the club, there was a bit of noise. But since then, Shane Richardson has come out and said, no, actually, it's the Tigers asking him to leave because they're trying to fix up their salary cap. So it's Papali'i that's been tapped on the shoulder. The Panthers have pounced and they now have Papali'i on a three-year deal and they probably got him under unders. unders. It's unbelievable. So good. How does and that for work? Him, Is- like, what about just like for him, kissed on the dick? Like the Tigers being like, "Hey, we actually want to let you go." He's like, "What? Uh, okay." <laughs> and then the Panthers being like, "Hey, we'll take it." He's like, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> How does that work though? He's only been there for. T- Is this his second year? So, so he would have. It's for next year. So he had one more year next year, and then twenty six he was off contract. Oh, so this is for for next year for twenty twenty five. Yep. But so, but what I'm saying is, how can you cap get into like? How can I get that? Oh, that messed, uh, up, messed that up that quickly. They just signed Luai for like forty billion dollars. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because he's only been there for at this point in time a year and a half. A year and a half. Not even. Well, I think it's a also just like rounds. they're probably going in the market for people next year as well. Also, they you know certain salary caps have certain like formulas where they're like we only pay X amount for this position or we only pay X amount for this position. Wayne's a good. Um, story like he doesn't pay his um, wingers. Well, again, history, 
history will suggest he doesn't pay his wingers anything more than the minimum. Like he just thinks wingers at the moment aren't the most important people in the team. Obviously, other players are. Uh, and so maybe uh, Tigers have this certain formula now where they're like, we can't afford to be playing a back rower. 800 grand or something like that. There's also like, I don't know, Stefano, like maybe the hit, the heat, they don't want to lose him, do they? Trying to bloody shore up his contract, throw a bit more bicky his way. Well, it just, it just depends though, you know, mm. like it depends how much Stefano's going to be asking because he's still developing Stefano. And, you know, do you want to spend 900K or something to keep him 850K if, he, if that's what he's demanding? Maybe they don't. Maybe they say, you know what, we don't feel like that's representative what you're where you're at right now. And... They have to let him go. Would, would Papali be getting what he was guaranteed for the next year next year? Maybe, yeah. I could see that because probably what Panthers have gone and gone, okay, look, if we can get him for like 600K, like that is a fucking great deal for a guy like Papali. And so maybe they've gone, look, Tigers just chuck in 200K for the year and then off you go. So probably, probably. What a fucking... What a great day for Isaiah Papali. Yeah, this is almost You gotta buy a lottery day. ticket, don't yeah, you? Know. If you get and there's a dude, like. Powerball, 150 million. You'd be getting it if you're Isaiah. Imagine you won the Powerball and you got signed by the Panthers. May 23, well, Papali he's, day. But he's riding that wave of yeah, luck, Dennett. Yeah, and yeah when you have you're, to. And you, when you're riding the wave of luck, you got to cash in. All the bloody, all the media yesterday was like, this is going to trigger an absolute bidding. Oh, no, Panthers are going <laughs> to. It's all good. Oh, man. Uh, it's, it looks obviously looks like, I mean, I don't can't be sure, but you'd assume Crichton's probably staying at the Roosters then. Well, it's it's uh, it's Come resulted in him having less bargaining chips because mm. he was in he was in quite a, a position of influence almost. Yeah, you know? he still is, dude. As if no, Tom's but not, but, but not as much. Well, if, not to if, Penrith, but like Manly would like you, and I'm obviously not heading up our recruitment and retention, but really. Shocking, I know, uh, but like... Just I thought our cap was a fucking mess. Yeah, but we just got rid of Schuster for $40 million a year. We're still paying a no, lot of it. No, I know, that. we're still paying a lot of it, that's cool. I'm just like... We're still paying most of no, it. No, we're still paying heaps. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't overspend on another good player. <laughs> I'd fucking happily do that. Oh, fuck. And lot, I, I tell you what, they must have just sat back, uh, the board member, board members at Panthers today being like, that was a lot easier than the Fafita bullshit. Yeah. Way easier. Yeah, I think he's going to be... And I'm going to be interested to see, do they move him into the middle? Do, you know, are they looking at him as like an explosive front row? Because he's a he's a pretty big boy. I'd say I'd say he's probably as big as uh, he's Fish Harris. He's huge. So does he have the motor Fisher Harris is? I'm not sure. But yeah, great oh, Fisher Harris replacement, you think? Maybe. I mean, he's he has the same athletic kind of explosiveness. I'd, maybe Fisher Harris is a little bit quicker off the mark in that first 10 metres, but I'd say Papali'i is like... Morgan Nuggety maybe in contact. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether they do put him on the edge or they put him in the middle because he's, he was playing 13 last week for the Tigers, which is essentially a front row position these days. You've got to be able to get through the Do you think work. he would be at this point in time right now thinking of himself as a future pre premiership winner? <laughs> like, is that the sort of confidence well, you Well, listen, this is one of the great days of his life. You get to bail on the Tigers who are like, who've sort of forgotten that they've kept you captive for the last two years. <laughs> You get to go to the premiers who are potentially looking at four straight and you're going to win Powerball. It's one of the great days. <laughs> <laughs> one of the great rugby league weeks of all time. Uh, Brad Arthur has been let go uh, by the Eels on Monday. Barrett will take over as interim coach. Who will be the coach 2025? I said this on the captain's run, but I'll say it again. The amount of class and dignity that Brad Arthur has carried himself mm. in this situation. All class, all dignity. Literally yeah. couldn't have more dignity if he tried. We, um, we heard... And this has obviously just come across our desk. A lot comes across, but you've got to try and sift through the bullshit. But um, after they missed out on Wayne Bennett, they're actually looking to sign Brad Arthur again. So what happened is, Dan, and they've let him go to try and get Wayne Bennett. Wayne mm. Bennett's gone to South. Yep. They've had a look at the possibles, the candidates. We, went, we ran an eye over him yesterday. It's quite a bunch. It's quite a bunch. Blake Green. Yeah, Blake, Blake, Green, Blake Green was Blake on the Green list. was thrown around. I think you reach a point if if I'm if I'm the Eels where I just say let's give let's give Brad another go. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine headlines Eels enter negotiations with Brad, Brad Arthur? Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because if you've sacked him, it's it's a different Brad you get back. You are you getting a, you getting a Brad who's just lost his job and you know now what? he's more it's motivated. Like, it's like when you and it's Steph broke up. Yeah. We yeah. broke back together, back but to it's just a shorter break. Just a way shorter breakup. You guys realise what you had? Yeah, if, if you love them, let them go. If they don't come back, they never loved you Because, anyway. like, you look at that list, and that's no disrespect to the list, but Blake Green. Blake Green didn't. 
It's like, just, I mean, I love Blake. It's not knocking Blake Green, but this you're isn't saying, about well, who, Blake you know, Green. Who made the list? Like, is the list from a reputable source? The, 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 the list was Star Fighters right. at Fox News. <laughs> it was late. It was late to Star Fighters. Yeah, that's what it was. Done. <laughs> Jason Dimitro's on that list. Hey, Jason, he's he hasn't on won that. a game Jason in six years. Dimitro, he's on that list. <laughs> oh. it, it's Holbrook. It was Blake Green. Blake Green. It was Jason, Jason Dimitrio. Dimitrio. It was uh, Trent Jason, Barrett. Jason Riles. Jason Riles of huge penis fame. And <laughs> huge. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, uh, Madge. Madge. I, I like Riles um, at the moment. I think that he'd be good. To Donkey. Be. Donk. Donk. All allegedly. Donk. That's all allegedly. It's pretty, like, it's pretty much guaranteed. It's strongly alleged. Yes. Donk. <laughs> I would, if I was South, I think I'd want Madge. Yeah, he's not leaving New South Wales for the next two years. You don't reckon? No. Nah. Do you reckon you'd have a clause if you were like wanting to come back in the NRL? I mean, surely the New South Wales like didn't cop that. Like, I don't know, dude. Wouldn't? I mean, he's a part-time like some, coach at the moment. It seems so like something we what, we, we might cop. I don't. I don't think so. I think it'd be it'd be a tough pill to swallow as a New South Welshman, uh, considering the position your state has been in for the last twenty years or so. That the coach that comes in that's supposed to be the new era goes uh, actually. I want to. I'm going to put myself first before the state. When the whole yarn has been about putting the state first. Yeah, I get it. I get it. That's why I think Brad Arthur is a really good option for Parramatta. But like. also, he left the he, he left the Kiwis as well. I, I doubt. Now maybe after that two year period, maybe he can go there. Um, what about you do a straight swap, Manly and and, and Para? Okay. Okay. So. Uh, there's been chat uh, reports that Seabold and Manly's contract extensions, which I wasn't aware that was happening, have stalled. When was he? When was Seabold up for in, like his contract up? Well, it Manly? goes till 2026. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, so he wants is to it 26 or 25? 25. He wants to. Extend I thought we on signed. Him, I thought we signed him for five years. Five hundred nah, nah, years. Not five years. No, that was a that Broncos. Was Broncos. 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 With the one in his favour. Oh, okay. So I'm he. Getting sorry, confused. he signed till the end of 25. And they were looking to extend now, and that's uh, broken down reportedly. Do I'm re actually surprised that they were even in negotiations. Like, I can't believe they're in negotiations. Like Nearly has not been going well. We can't defend. Not, not, not me saying. You're good on the weekend. Mate. Saying that, sure. The weekend is good. One game does not make a seat. So last year we came what tenth? You're sitting tenth now too, and we're coming tenth right now. Mm -hmm. And. There's been there's been some football played this year that's you made be, me physically ill. But also, like the way you've that's played just, in patches is a top four footy side. But then Mate, the way we've played in patches yeah. is. But we've only played that. We've only played that footy. Side. We've only played that footy for like thirty minutes. But that's what what I'm saying is is that this, the side that you've got together, a lot of people are like this could be a top four side. So like that's kind of where you should be with what most people were seeing early yes. in the year. Yes. And then since the f first month, you've just gone. And also like, this may be unfair revisionist sort of shit, but like, as the coach, your job is to manage someone like Josh Schuster and make sure that you get the best out of him. Like obviously Schuster's even come out and said like, mate, I like he's taken sort of a lot of responsibility for it. But like, well, I'm pretty sure, Sh like, can you confirm, but I'm pretty sure Seabold was the head coach when they extended him. No, of course they were. It was last fucking year. So that, like, that was You've a bad You've extended call. him, but you haven't been able to keep him on the right track. But the positives are, you got to speak, like, I think Brooks has been a great signing. From great Seabold. signing. So there's one for one. Fair. Bad one, Brooks. good one. And I think and some of the other boys, Tommy Talao has been pretty good. Tommy's been all right. He's been okay. Yeah. He's been okay. Um, Nathan Brown's been pretty good. He's been really good. Yeah. So that's, let's say that's 2-1. But let's add up the amount that Schuster's costing us. Yeah, and yeah, for then sure. Also for the sure. amount that everyone else is costing um, us. But we also, Latu Fine Hour is gone. You know, Latu is gone. Mm. But I think there's a few other people coming through that like maybe mm. eases the Latu. It just pain. it just seems after ten rounds into a season where we're coming tenth, it seems quite early. Way too early. I, I don't know why. That's this, all. I mean, yeah. I'd be it, like if you're gonna if you're gonna look to extend him, it would be in the off season after this season. Mm. When you can start counting the fucking chips, a get bit. the end of the get to the end of the year after we've won the comp, and then we'll I'd be to I'd be adding up. Sand. I'd be I'd be getting a a a pros and cons column going. Okay, yep. okay. After maybe we need to get one. We don't need maybe get one in though. our uh, in our office, just like a big butcher's paper, and we but can pros and cons. Don't try and thing. out PowerPoint him though, because he'll get you. Is, uh, That's why I said this is this is this, is, this a, is internal. This is an okay. internal metric. Where you'd never try and go toe to toe <laughs> with the best in the business because you'll lose every time. This is more a pros and a cons, uh, adding up where we are. So for for example, if we were to finish tenth again, mm. that would go in the cons okay. column. Mm. Uh, Miss the eight two years in a row con. Well, uh, re signed Schuster for 10 years on 300,000 million. Con. 300,000 million. Con. Which is trillion. Three trillion. Yeah. I mean, 
300,000. Gajillion. So that's, gajillion? that would be two cons. Yeah, okay. Fellow Stephen Amakas, three cons. <laughs> you know, and positives would be Luke Brooks. Nathan Brown. So there's positives. Yep. Um, um, not being able to defend. Con. That's a con. Can't defend the But that lead. might be Jim Dimmick. Really good attack. That could be Jim Dimmick. It, but the head defense. coach hires who his assistants are. That's con right. then. Con. Yeah. Con. But, but hiring attacking. someone that doesn't know how to def- in, implement defensive systems, con. But also maybe the, his, the assistant coach is trying to implement and it's not getting listened to. It's a con regardless. It is a con. Yeah, yeah okay, it is a con okay. regardless. I, w- I will say... Um, Blowing you know, huge leads. Con. <laughs> for example... Broncos, the year that they were coming first and then friggin' died and missed it, they came ninth. Even the Broncos waited till I think it was like round maybe four or five, the year, the last year of Walter's contract in 23 to re-sign him for just two more years. So yeah. that's what I don't get is like, even the Broncos who finished ninth had this hectic roster and everyone could see like, look, next year they're going to put it together. Whereas Manly, he's got a whole nother, the equivalent would be them waiting until next year Round four to begin to, to finalise. Could things. this potentially be a situation where management for Seabold are like, let's try and stitch up an extension because you're not going that well. Mm. And Manly's like, let's entertain an extension because maybe we can get him for fuck all. I think it's, I think, it, you know what it is? I think they started the year well and it's like time to strike. Where you're going well, everyone's hyping Manly up. That's probably when chat started and they're going, you know, the board's going, yeah, we're going so well. And then they go, yeah, we'll entertain it. We'll just wait a few rounds, and then started going worse and worse. And that's probably what slowed up. And that's way down. Yeah, yeah. And that's what. And that's which what. is a smart footy from his management. When you go on well, strike when the iron's hot. Yeah. And listen, he's obviously got elite management. Well, Moses, because he's never out of he's never out of work. No. Yeah. yeah. Despite results. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mo, who who manages Brad Arthur? I'm not trying to get him to the club, punters and dribblers. I'm just interested to know. And I wouldn't mind seeing, like, you know, hopefully Seabold can turn it around. Hopefully. Um, but Brad if, back at Manly. If he doesn't. Brad's Arthur a good coach. He was just coaching a shit side. Mate, well, look look at the side he inherited, which is a spoon, spoon side. Took him all the way to a grand final and also developed key players in key positions into some of the best in the comp. Isaiah Papali, Dalian Bakra, Reed Marnie, this close to origin. Uh, Dylan Brown, one of the best sixes. Mitchell, Mitchell Moses, Moses, one of the best. Mate, he's, he's, done, he's done very, 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 Regan very well. Regan Campbell-Gillard, discard from Penrith. Junior Polo, coming back from the Raiders. Mate, Sean many- Lane, like ch- journeyman. But even if you look at it from this perspective, he goes to a club that hasn't had success for 40 years. They were fucking, they'd won the spoon and he stayed there for 11 years. Mm. Most coaches that get Gone punted through. out the back door after 18 months. Yep. 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 So, class act, wish him all the best, Brad Arthur. I do. I have to run to the bathroom or I will fucking die. Okay. Whilst you're in the bathroom, See you, mate. the LDVT60 has 160 kilowatts of grunt, which makes it one of the most powerful utes in its class. Auto from 38990, drive away for ABN holders. Seven years slash 200,000 kilometer warranty, whichever occurs first. At that price, why go secondhand when you can have a brand new LDV? Also, KO's got you covered this footy season with every game and every round live and ad break free. Got plenty more content, including our live show. You can go watch it back. Uh, very funny stuff. Menu log, David Armstrong is our hungriest player of the week. Use code Armstrong for free delivery this week. If you haven't got the menu log app, download it, guys, because each week you get incredible discounts. Um, all right, whilst he's gone, we'll just quickly talk about... I uh, didn't have that long. Got to go soon. Munster being ruled out. What do you think, mate? Thank fuck. <laughs> That's what I think. The heavens, mate. Obviously, the rugby league gods want they want a contest, okay. and they saw that we were losing man hand over fist, dropping like flies. And it's just a, it's a good old fashioned even up. Yep. That's what it is. Okay. Let's get that best player on the fucking field injured. <laughs> That's what it seems. Could you like. imagine if if Maroons weren't struggling with injury, like as in they didn't have their own injuries right now? What would like we'd get pumped? Our bench like. I had bench forward pack. So we would have started with probably Collins, Tino, Paddy Carrigan, and we'd have had we would have had Cotter on the bench, Flegler on the bench. Mm. Like disgusting stuff. Oh, it's terrifying. Disgusting stuff. Truly foul. Truly, truly foul. I I'm I'm obviously upset for him. Mm. He's been he's he's been niggling though. This, oh, this yeah, hip, niggled. this hip groin situation is very weird. Niggling the fuck out of him. I'd love to know what it was. Like it, just it very vague. They didn't even know what it was. Um, but he'll be back. He'll be back in eight to 12 weeks. Hopefully Mate, This is all origin. I know. It's crazy. Big out. Because, like, there's so many games where we've had our backs against the wall. 
essentially the series is over mm-hmm. and he just goes, boom, thanks for coming. Tommy Dean can do a job. Though. Oh, yeah, he can do a job. But, for example, go back to game one. We don't win that without Munster Magic. Mate, he does a tour. To all, it's like it's so frustrating <laughs> watching him play and just rip us apart. So, you know, for the good of the state, it's 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 unbelievable news that he's out. <laughs> it just is. There's no beating around the bush. Um, now, South officially signed Wayne Bennett. What do you reckon about Bennett back to South? Well, I think that if they didn't get him, they would have been absolutely fucking furious. <laughs> Part of me wanted to see them suffer. See the world more, burn? You know, a little bit. But <laughs> Could you it, imagine if he backflipped or, or like just late hour went to Parramatta Hills? It, it, <laughs> it's set up for him as well in terms of just a, an, another opportunity to showcase his greatness. Yeah. If he just gets in there and just goes, fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this, gets them humming, oh. gets them to where they should be for a side with those players. Because like last time that he took over... They were already a pretty good footy side. They won the prelim the year before, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Oh, sorry, they made the prelim. Whereas this is genuinely like he's coming in when they are like terrible on at the their moment. knees. Like dying on their knees. If he just goes bang straight back to finals footy. Could you imagine that? Oh. Could you imagine if I like literally next season they come out top four? Oh. Bang. Easy. After a spoon, which that is looking be, super likely. That's what's crazy. Like, could that see well, how super spoon. likely, but the yeah, amount of injuries they got, because that's what I mean. Yeah, so many injuries. Oh, right. it's basically, it's basically tigers and and rabbits. You would think, maybe titans too with maybe their injuries. Titans. But they they look look pretty but good. Desi's though, got them looking alright. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, time for some tips. Um, <sighs> Sorry, fellas. Bulldogs versus St George tonight. Where are we going, boys? I just am looking at value there, and oh, I, I think th- the Dargans can win. Dargans? Yeah, that's good value. Like, I, I want the dogs to win because I'm not a Dargans man, but that, that, that's pretty. That's some nice value there, isn't it? I think the Dargans can win, but I'm going to go with the Bulldogs. We're live streaming tonight, actually. Hello Sport YouTube. Sebo's joining us, and uh, we've got a, a debutante, Denon. His name's Hectic Fred, and he's Hectic a funny Fred. motherfucker, and he's a big dogs fan. Okay. Is he a content creator? He's is a he... content man, Hectic Fred. He's on uh, TikTok. He's on Insta. But he's, uh, he's a funny dude. Well, there you go. Fella. Just dribbler. a dribbler. Just a dribbler. Yeah. There you go. Debutant. Big game. Big game player, you reckon? We'll see. We'll, we'll find we'll out. See. Alrighty. Bright Press lights, on. Are, bright lights are different. Yeah. Yeah. Bright lights are different. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. North Queensland versus West Tigers. West Tigers 420. Give me the Tigers at 420. That's Plays juicy as. Give, oh, give me the Plays Tigers. Up. Give Galvin, me the Tigers at Galvin rumoured to be ruled out. Uh Still, like, I'm Fuck not being it. convinced but by the Cowboys. No. <laughs> Who, like, literally, if yeah. you try and sit here and convince me the Cowboys have done fucking anything this year. But I have got, like, 60 head. Cowboys trying Yeah, but it was a shit multi. bet, mate. No, well, we'll see, we'll see. Just Time will tell. Shit bet Time will tell. Okay. Manly versus Melbourne. Manly. Famous win. Dude, and we're, we're outsiders. Fuck yeah. Dude. Well, they're missing okay. maybe Hughes, but he's been named. Obviously, I reckon and he, I don't Puppy. reckon he'll play. It could be without But we Hughes are also without Cooler, which I didn't know. Uh, mm. Until we arrived, got DCE today. still though. DCE and Brooks got Ruben at the back. Got yeah. Brooks still got some big thick thoroughbreds in the in the forwards. Mm. Manly win. round back. Manly, Manly win. Manly well. is special. 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 <laughs> Manly is special. Bit of Kiwi there. <laughs> oh, it's Raiders Roosters. Through, bro. It's coming out. Yeah, it is. Four bucks <sighs> is also pretty good for Canberra. Like mm. the Roosters at are pretty too. hot. Do right you now. think this is a this is a this could be the round of upsets? I okay, think. round of upsets. I really do. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll get yeah, Raiders. 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 Okay. Yeah, I am. Not the milk, you reckon? Yeah, fucking oath. Uh, Sharkies, Panthers. Again, Panthers. Panthers. Now, a random stats guy had a stat yesterday. The Sharks uh, are 0 and 5 on May 25th. For their entire fucking <laughs> And their entire history. They've, won, they've played five games. They've lost five. Three and on three of those, on three occasions on May 25th, they've played the Panthers. That's <laughs> all of them. Remember so, last year? I think it was last year where they went out there late in the season and it was like, you know, like, we're, we are throwing everything at this. And this, the Penrith Panthers just like went, no, nah, we're going to complete it like 90% mm. and just pumped them. That's why I feel like Penrith will do something like that. Now, obviously, they don't have their don't have Nath or their backup half. Nath. Nath. But I still like the Panthers. Okay. Uh, what are Rab- you doing? What am I doing? I'm pretty sure I'm going on the Panthers. I just think that after last week, Ivan Cleary was filthy. He was mm. so angry. I think they'll be. How about that? Did you see the the press conference where the chick was like, <laughs> "They basically you lost, basically lost to a reserve grade side." And, they, and he's like, I was "Excuse like, me, uh, what?" 
<laughs> well, you know, basically everyone was off injured and it was like, oh, that must have stung. <laughs> he was fuming. Uh, Rabbitohs versus Para. Rabbits. Rabbits are, yeah, are, rabbits, they, they they are special for look, me. If you can week. honestly look me in the eye and tell me you know what's going to happen in this game, you don't, you're don't. you a liar. Yeah. No, nah, Rabbits are special. Rabbits. Okay. We know. Uh, Broncos, Titans. Can I say that again? Okay. Rabbits are special. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> that was good. Broncos, Titans. Broncos, pumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be Gold Coast pumping. are all right, though. Gold Coast will be bloody good. Oh, I like the Bronx. Okay. Walsh back, you know. Warriors, Dilfins. It's in Waz, so I'm saying I think Waz. the Warriors, yeah. but I'd, another game, flip the flip a coin. Waz it Waz. Waz? Yeah, Waz it Waz. Waz it Waz? Yeah. Although Waz it Waz, I mean, fuck all this year. Yeah, it doesn't mean anyway, much. Anyway, maybe they've turned a corner. Waz it back? Maybe. Okay, all right. Um, I think I I think I went the wires. I don't know. I can't remember now. Cute. When you give your tips early in the week, it's just very hard to remember. Try doing a betting show yeah. on a fucking Wednesday. <laughs> Especially when like for games on Sunday yeah. afternoon. Yeah, yeah, Sunday afternoon, and you get to like Sunday and so, and you're like, oh, you might like I don't know on Instagram or something be like, oh, I'm going on this team. And they're like, mate, you fucking put all your money on this team on Wednesday. And you're like, yeah, maybe Shit. I did. Shit. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Um, <laughs> alrighty, that's us done and dusted tonight. Six p.m. Be there. Hello Sport Shop. Yep. And then Monday six p.m. Be there, bloke hoodies. They are back and uh, shirts. And finally, after years away, bloke shorts, the comfiest shorts in all the land, are back Monday, 6 p.m. And that's it. We'll go and fuck ourselves. Love you. Ciao. Love Bye. you. Bye. Mm-hmm. Say it. Say love you, dude. Say love it. you, dude. Love you. Thank you. Love you too. Okay. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.